July 2008, Long Island, New York State. It seems like an ordinary summer's day in the small holiday town of Montauk, Long Island. A group of friends take a walk along the shore. Little do they know they're about to make a gruesome discovery. And we're looking for a spot to sit. We saw a bunch of people huddled around. We didn't even know what they were huddled around. So we walked over to see what it was, and we saw this dead animal. What is what this is thing? That? Wow. My friend Rachel had a camera. I said, Rachel, let's take a picture of this thing. It looks crazy. It was about the size of a small dog. It was hairless, but it had patches of hair, and then it had like a long like dog tail. And then the, the head of it, which was where it was really weird and what astonished everyone was like, it had like a beak. It looked like a bird's beak or like a pterodactyl's beak, you know, like some kind of like reptile bird type thing. The other funny thing was the fingers. They were like long fingers, and they were just stra strange looking. And then it had like a tether around its arm, so it looked like it was tagged or had like a little like collar or something on its arm. The snapshots taken on the beach that day inspire people around the world to try and identify a creature that has become known as the Montauk Monster. Two weeks later, local journalist Kitty Merrill breaks the story. It was disgusting. It was really gross. And, um, you know, people in the media do tend to have a dark sense of humor from time to time. We blew it up. We shrunk it down. We didn't put the boss's head on it, but it was close to that. So we messed around with that for quite some time before we actually started to work on anything. But when we first wrote it up, we did it in kind of a humorous manner. And we really didn't draw any conclusions or, or com come to any kind of a, a conclusion other than Ew, look what we somebody found on the beach. The Montauk monster becomes the talk of the town. And everyone has a theory about what it is. 